Well, welcome back to another episode. We are here with me, the amazing Sig. Sigalicious. Clap, 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 everyone. It's fine. And then we have uh, Rockle. I don't know what to say about him. He's here. He's present. Do you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning? I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. I can talk on it. People like me. No, I am I look, sigalicious. I'm looking I'm in the mirror and going, where the fuck is that hair that I can see out of the corner of my eye? <laughs> where is that at? Out there is clip it. <laughs> I don't look at the mirror too much. I would not vain. Liar. <laughs> you just called yourself <laughs> the one, the only the sigalicious. Uh, that is something you called me before, so I have just pee back off of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lies. Also called me thunder thighs at one point too. Mm-hmm. That's right. Pretty the same sentence too. Pretty sure Sigalish just thunder thighs was all like one <laughs> sentence. It was all of it in one. It was. But no, um, so this this is gonna be kind of a interesting. That's not. I hate using that word. That sentence structure. This is gonna be interesting. It's so fucking. I think about our podcast is interesting. I'm fucking interesting. I'm fucking delightful. <laughs> Here You're we some go punk again. ass basic Here bitch. We go again. <laughs> Here we go. Let's pick it up for the last episode we were just in. <laughs> Start that. Wrap it up. Let's go. We're done. Can't do that. We haven't hit the two minute mark yet. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, so I, we play. You and I play collectively, meaning together. Thursday nights we play Call of Duty typically, and the rest of the week you do your own thing because you're not a stay at home dad. I get to fucker. <laughs> I, I get to attempt to play games for about two hours during my kids' naps. And if my wife's not home, because if she's home, then I'm going to spend time with her. But lately, by lately, probably since like April. Yeah, since April. It's fucking hard to get, get going on streaming and play a game. Because it's just nothing fun, nothing interesting. Has came out, burnt out on Destiny 2. Call of Duty is not fun if you play by yourself. It's kind really of not. I mean, I play multiplayer and it's just, it's fun for like, for like 20 minutes. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that M4 that keeps getting me from 100 meters away. Bullshit. I mean, I can't, I can't get out on multiplayer by myself. I don't enjoy it as much. And granted, it is fast paced. You're going, going, dying, dying, dying. But I can't, I can't do it. I don't enjoy it as much. Um, like when I was overseas with that, we talked about it before. That's different. You're doing like a local LAN party and it's all yeah. you fighting against each other. That's different. Um, but you're going to do like solo matches. I mean, solo matches are cool, but I mean, you get into it so far. You're like, okay, I just played 20 minutes and died. And now I got to restart everything. It's fucking exhausting. Yeah. I mean, even there is you know, there's resurgence also solos, which is it's fun. I like it. It's It keeps you going in and out of the game. You can die, but you have to, you know, you have your time let me get a withstand but it's just not the same when you have somebody to play with and even and we've talked about it too is like even duos like we know we need other people but like we do just fine especially in dmz we enjoy it until you get us fucking killed and i lose all my shit so we go we go with it and we do fine but like <laughs> okay trying to play I solo killed. dmz solo dmz i can't i can't do it i've tried wow. and I get I get my shit wrecked all the time. I've seen other people that can do it and they do they do decent, but like I don't I haven't played enough to know the maps and everything else. That's you know another thing. But man, it's it's easy to just look at the game and like, yeah, I want to play you, but I know I'm not gonna enjoy it. Well, and I mean, there's that it's tough. there's also just like at least for me, it's like I can still hop into a game. I even if I enjoy the game. It's just to the point of, like, do I want to get in? Do I want to sit here and, and go through it and play it? Like, I'm to the point where just mentally, I'm done. 
I've expired. I'm just like, I fucking don't want to do any of this shit. But at the same time, it's something... Like, I love playing video games. It's been a hobby and a passion for fucking 20 plus years at this point. 25 mm-hmm. years. And it's just one of those things of like... Mm, I'm done. If this was even 15 years ago where the games were plenty and they were different, whole different story. But nowadays, it really just, it's, you get burnt out on the game or video games in general so quick because there's nothing really new coming out. Nothing that's eye catching, nothing that's Mm -hmm. unique or different. You have another Battle Royale coming out. You have another Call of Duty coming out. You have another wannabe Call of Duty that's supposed to be the Call of Duty killer. You have a new game that's supposed to kill Destiny. You have all these knockoffs, tryhards, and they are all flops. And they're not produ- uh, produced very well. And then you have big games like, you know, by CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk, which was pushed by asshole viewers and consumers, forcing them to come out sooner. And uh, that game quickly killed itself because it mm-hmm. was so riddled with bugs and um, issues. And then you have Diablo 4, which is really big right now. I love it. But again, that's one of those games of you can do the entire thing by yourself. You can play in game randomly with other people. But even then, it's really a hack and slash. So after a bit, it gets tedious, and you're just that's like, eh, I'm done. And I, and I know you. You're like, oh, you should play it too. And I'm like, yeah, I've never played Diablo, and I watched you play it, and I watched other people play it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I can't play this because. It's repetitive in in the way that you do things. Those yes, you do. Things. You can have your look. Yeah, it is. But you're not. I don't know. It's the way that Diablo looks to me is it's you're on a path. It's repetitive. You're hack and slash, like you say. Mm-hmm. You can change the way your character looks. Everything else, and, and I haven't I seen a whole that. lot about it. I and I know that. there's there's more of that. But I mean, Call of Duty. There's different modes. You can go anywhere on the map. Yeah. You can play different things. You can, you know, it's and it's just it's it's a war style game that I'm I'm gonna be more passionate about than anything else. Um, I was excited to see the new Street Fighter game. I watched somebody play Ugh. yesterday and today, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to play this. Yeah, like that, it's that the, the same thing. About. Go look at it. Yeah. It's not great. No, and it wasn't even fact that it's not great looking. It's just like, oh, it's the same shit. Like I don't, I'm not into fighting games. But I was like, oh, cool, I want to play it. And I know I don't. And that's um, the thing, like, with Mortal Kombat coming out September 19th, 9th, 19th, one of those two, I'm excited to be on belief for that. Mm-hmm. But again, that's also a game that's super fucking repetitive. I'm going to get it because I want the story and because I have all the other fucking Mortal Kombat since day one. So it's more of an OCD thing at this point. But like, I know I'm going to be burnt out of that game within the first month, and then it's just going to be waiting for DLCs, and be like, oh, I'm back into it. One week later, I'm done with this game. DLC, oh, I'm back. I'm done. And that's how I was with the Ninja Turtles game. All excited when it does, like, oh, yeah, the Cowabunga. I'm going to die so much in the water yeah. world. Oh, it fucking came out, and I have played it. We have like, maybe we have like 10 episodes 10 from last, se- last season. Or the less season than 10 up. times I played it. Not fucking... Like I'm done with it. Like it's not, it's not fun. It doesn't. It the gameplay is not the same. The reactions of the game is not. It was good. a nostalgic bite, and that's all. Yeah, exactly. And it's not like it's still there. I look at it every now and then, and I give it the middle finger, and I move on. But it's like you, it's not fucking wild world. It'll be fucking burning. It'll... It's not. That's you. not not fun. Um, if I want to play with my kids, I probably would. I play with my kids. I'm not gonna stream it. There's no point. Like, there's literally. I mean, they've changed it to where I, we talked about. You can rewind if you die. You can rewind and come back to it. So I was like, no, it's like I'm not doing that. It's not you don't fun have to, because you know you like. Yeah, that's it. But in the back of your head, you know you can. Like, oh fuck I, it, let's see if we can do I, this. I'm rewind. Glad, I'm glad your memory serves you that well because there, are, like, mm-hmm. I will play. Especially on the Nintendo Switch, I will go through and play like the Sega or Nintendo or Super Nintendo emulator to have on there. And I know, I know, I know they fucking have that rewind 
that checkpoint feature where I'm like, <laughs> I need Yoshi. I need you let me just back up three points in Super Mario. But I don't ever fucking use it, hardly ever, unless I'm in like a big boss mode. I'm getting pissed off that I'm died left and right, left and right, and finally, like, God, I just want to restart. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> checkpoint. Ah, fuck you, I'll be back. But I forget about it so often. It, yeah. it only comes out of rage and spite when I'm just like, oh, I still have this. And there's not a game coming out that I am excited for. Um, uh, I know Six I, Days in Fallujah. Uh, we need to talk about that one. But that's I'm going to be way behind the curve on that one because you're going to get that first. And then <laughs> I think is what. That's what you think I'm going to get before you get. Like, I'm going to waste money. Yeah, I'm you all, will. I will wait for you because I need somebody to play with it versus being pissed off at randoms. Be like, I paid 20 bucks for this. Fuck <laughs> this. Wrongle. Be a grown ass man. Get a PC. Let's go. Oh, as soon as it comes out, I'm getting it. Um, but like it's yeah, the burnout is is happening. It seems like more and more, and maybe I'm told it's because we're older. I I don't want to believe that though, but I think that's what it is. It's it's probably what it is. So that's what like, I I get told a lot by other dad gamers or people who used to game is it's it kind of goes away. And I'm with you. I don't want to believe it. And I wholeheartedly don't think it's that. I think it comes down to the studios being fucking lazy and complacent. Like when Fortnite like originally came out, it was a big deal. It mm -hmm. was completely different. We've never seen a battle royale like that. I mean, we've had a battle royale similar to it, uh, but it was called Mag. And you could play 256 people against each other, 128 mm -hmm. versus 128. Which, if you've ever played Mag on PlayStation 3, that game was fucking hard as shit. You were dying left and right by 120 other people. But, like, Fortnite, to me, is probably the last big revolutionized game. There has not been another game that has truly taken the industry by storm. And has improved it to the point where so many other studios are like, how can we replicate this? How can we duplicate this? Instead, it's a, uh, here's another Call of Duty game. Oh, what's the difference? Uh, it, it, okay, so it's called Black Ops 4. What's this one called? Oh, it's called Modern Warfare 2, but it's not the same from like early 2000. No, this is Modern Warfare 2, 2022 edition. Yeah. And it has completely nothing to do with the other one. It's not a remaster, no. it's not a remake, it's a fucking standalone. Which also has me having no hopes for my Warfare 3 properly being done. But it's Which just we do get a, later this year. Yeah, it's just a November? rinse and repeat. October, November, one of those two. That, yeah, something like that. We've talked about it in like five, six episodes ago. But the game... I will get the Warzone, that's free. I won't be paying for Call of Duty this year. I will. I will. I will be buying it. I will punish myself and I will. I haven't even beat the damn campaign on, on two yet. I haven't beat it yet. I keep forgetting I would have it. And it's because I always just go straight to Warzone. I completely forgot because I know one thing I do. I do know why. I know why I have not done it because I will lose myself in the damn game and then I won't get shit done. I think that's why. Another reason too I is in the back better. of my head, I know I have shit that I have to get done. And I can't waste three to four hours playing a game when I know I have it's other shit Thursday I have to do. Nights. That's my that's that's my fuck it time. It's like I'm not doing shit. I have this time to do this. I can burn it. But Check like if on, I know it's I'm fucking like schedule. middle of a, middle of the day on like a Saturday, I'm like, fuck, I know I have adult shit to do. I have grass to cut. I have other shit going on. My kids are in sports. My kids do this. I have to drive my kids here. I have kids. Why did I have kids? I'm still doing this shit. I have to go here. I have to go there because of my kids. All my kids. Kids, 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 kids. That is why I cannot enjoy games because kids. Kids are a joy. Killer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna buy a Call of Duty, but realistically, I probably fuck buy Call of Duty. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. However, you wait till it's on sale. Yeah, I yeah I will. It'll be on sale by Christmas. Yep. It just dawned on me too, because again we play Call of Duty every Thursday night, Warzone DMZ. You know what we haven't done? When? Raids. It's raids at the. Oh, it is. I forgot about that. They are me on too okay. until now when you were talking about the campaign. I was like, oh yeah, I haven't done that either. And in my head went, I haven't successfully done raid. I don't like playing with fucking other people. You had to pay, play with other people. That is true. They are assholes. That's right. There's yeah, there are. They're fucking raids. But there are, a lot of them are trios though, because I don't think there's any duo raids. You don't need trios. I played a couple with duos. You just put no fill if you're in a party? Oh, they ditch, so I would assume you could do no fill. Oh. Or we can oh, I had one. I forgot about those. Yeah, there are fucking rays, aren't there? I would, we got, and we got new content for Thursday it. nights. <laughs> I would, until we get in there and get our ass kicked. Like, let's go back to Resurgence or DMZ where we know we can do something. <laughs> um, but I will not I will not play fucking multiplayer. That's one thing no, you will not see us play. I, I cannot do multiplayer. Um, I'm still going to stick with the fact, though, it's all stagnant. That's why, at least, like, our age group, our generational group, whatever you want to call it, that plays games get burnt out so quickly is because it's all just a fucking copy paste of each other, different name, different company, but it's the same shit every time. So it becomes very monotonous where you're like, oh, let me hop on here. Oh, here's a battle royale. Oh, I have to build shit. Done. I won't play that. Oh, I have to go around killing people. Oh, there's about 12 and 15 year olds who are just fucking owning me because they have nothing better to do with their life than play this for 18 hours a day. But their mom and dads don't love them enough to tell them no. So even people, even kids that are not my kids are joy killers. <laughs> I love my I don't kids. Know, I, don't don't the, take anything serious. <laughs> Call of Duty has been something that has I've always enjoyed. For the most part, when since Warzone has come out, I have liked it. I've been an avid supporter of it, and you can go back to episode whatever one through whatever. All of season have, one, because I, I have shit been on Call a of Duty. Supporter of Warzone, I have liked Warzone, and the way that they've done it. Yes, they have cheaters. It's gonna fucking happen. But when you play in the wood and plastic lobbies like I do. You're not going to see very many of them. Four words. Godzilla versus King Kong. I like how you had to count that out before you said it. <laughs> yes, not the best thing they did at all. But it was cool to see them. The whole build up to it was cool. And then when it got there, it was a complete shit show. Yes. Um, one thing they need to not also do it ever again is planes please don't ever put fucking planes in warzone again i could not stand it it was annoying and the fact that that's what some people would do that's all they would do they just hop in a plane and they'd fucking fly around all the whole damn game and fucking kill people and try and shoot people and everything oh, else like yeah. oh it just fucking drove me nuts and that's all they would do like they didn't want to be on your team they were just in a plane the whole fucking time you i'm like that i don't want to haven't ditched people we have randomly been brought on to our team by a slip of a button. Randomly brought on our team by who? That's it's a slip who? of a button. Who, doesn't who fucking matter. Team? I don't remember. It's neither here nor it's, there. It's multiple times. Multiple times. Oh, shit, he's on our team. Oh, cool, another one. Well, fuck him. Maybe no, the one I think you're talking about the fucking ditched. option of just saying... Maybe there is an option. Invite, no op. No invite. No, because they put the fucking bag... Right by them, so you can't just search the bag. You gotta get close enough. Stop getting so close to people, you fucking creep. Or <laughs> you want to invite them to our team? Just you know what? Next, next time, tune in this Thursday where I invite everybody to our team. We're gonna have fucking six people run around on DMZ. Actually, gonna... no. It's a last last week. We have four or five and because we, you invited. Us... Yeah. I because invited, invited one, one person, and he invited his whole crew with him. He brought everybody back. 
We still left them and they died. Yeah, but... I'm gonna get in the chat and be like, I didn't mean to fucking invite you. Get out. Can you leave, please? I don't want to play with you. Go away. But... Tune to Thursday. But no, I mean... Because, <laughs> like, I... I like when I get burnt out on my PC games, which I have like fucking thousands of them. I have no problem going to my Nintendo Switch and be like, "Oh, let me play something here. Let me play my Pokemon game." Thirty minutes into it, max done, repetitive. Oh, I'm gonna go play Mario. Mario is probably one of the few games I can play and not have a problem with it. Like I just maybe it's nostalgia, maybe it's just the fact that it's a true solo person game. I don't need somebody okay, else. Which Mario? Any of the like, Mario's, like the Super okay. Mario's, not Mario Party or Mario Kart. Just eh, Mario Kart is single player, player too. It's just I can hop into any of them, just be fine. Like I'm good. You have, you have emulators? Should you have originals? Okay, I have both. We have like computer. the. Oh, that's true. We had the Nintendo that they came out with like so many years ago. Yeah, with all the built-in shit. The plug and so play. So that one, yeah, and like Punch Out. Punch Out is one I can play fucking whenever. I love Punch Out. That game pisses me off. It does. But it's fun. Another one, uh, Kung Fu. Kung Fu is one that I could go to anytime and fucking play that. Uh, this past weekend, I bought the Atari version with the 75 built in games. Yeah. It has, I mean, that all the old shit, wrong. obviously. Yeah. I mean, it's just like. It is a game that I wanted to get because one, my daughter's daughter's arm's broken, so she can't do anything. Like she has, and the cool thing, the coolest one about it, the entire thing, and I don't know why none of these, uh, none of the other ones are like it. It's a wireless controller. Uh-huh. None of the other ones are wireless. It's a wireless controller because it's not awesome. owned by Nintendo. So she can do the whole joystick and one button. That's all she got to do. And it's very simple. So it's something that, like, I grew up on Atari. My grandma had Atari. I never had one growing up. My, my, my grandma had it, so I would play it at her house. And, yes, graphics are dog shit. The original fucking game. But the fun of it is, like, Centipede. You know, Space Invader. Shit like that. Games like that oh. are... I are lose great. myself in Space Invader. Yeah, it's it, it's easy to because those games are so much fun, and still I think one of the best arcade games. You know, Centipede is one of my favorites to play. Galaga is another one. Galaga may be one of my top ones to play. I would say I, Galaga I is love top them. three easily. Especially if it's like like the true arcade, like going into an arcade and being mm-hmm. able to play Galaga for just fucking hours. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the roller ball that they have there to move Fuck around. Pac Man, though. We'll <laughs> Pac Man pisses me off. We have, we have a place up here called Operation Room, and they have a four player Pac Man. So it's the four of you playing against each other, and you can eat the other Pac Man, but they also have ghosts and everything else going around. And it is probably one of the funnest drinking games that I have played at this, at this uh, adult arcade. But it's fun. It's fun as hell, and it's a, it's you're sitting there and you're looking over it, playing it, and four you know all four of you around it. It's great. I mean, you're you're eating the other Pac Man, you're eating the ghost, running from the ghost, all that stuff. It's great. I love it. So much fun. And you're going to an arcade, I see no, eating, no, eating them all. But I do find myself being able to lose myself more in an arcade. Mm-hmm. That I am sitting at home playing a game, and be it just because the, maybe the variety of it, um, or just that fact of nostalgia of being able to play those games. So who knows? Oh, or maybe that I know that I'm that I'm there to do that. That's all I have to do, as well. I know, like, um, what? Almost two months ago. Back in March, we went to Branson to uh, for spring break slash daughter's birthday. And when we were in Branson, Missouri, 
they had a giant arcade there on the landing strip. And it's just a giant fucking arcade where you could win tickets and all that. And daughter's never been to a big true arcade. Well, I can't call it true arcade because they have the type of games we're talking about. But they had ticket winning games like uh, knock stuff down. They had the right. put a coin in, letting it fall. They fall, you get stuff. Tons of tons, just tons of fucking games. And my daughter, I, I loved it because again, I got we got lost in there. We were only supposed to be in there for thirty minutes, and three or four hours went by. My my wife's like, <laughs> I think we should go. It's fine. It's fine. We still one have one more like, game. One more game, please. Well. Well, we put like I think we put like hundred dollars on a card because they had a deal where you you get a hundred dollars, you get additional a uh, hundred dollars in credit, whatever. So, well, uh, we were there. It was fine, and we did it. And my daughter was loving it. My son was loving it. And just between the three of us, my wife doesn't care too much for our kid, but she was seeing into it too. And every time, my daughter would be like, "Let's go do something else. Let's go do something else," and she go to a game. And they had like a Jurassic Park one where you could like shoot the dinosaurs so you're trying to mm. traverse the train. And she's like, Dad, does this one give us uh, uh, prizes or does this one give us virtual tickets? And I was like, nope, it doesn't. She's like, oh. okay, and she'll just move on. Fuck this, let's go. She's not going to play I got to win shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then when she found the game that gave her the tokens or prizes, the tickets, whatever, she literally was at one game where it was a musical piano one, and she just had to kind of play along and match the piano key to what's being displayed. Yep. And she played that for probably about 15, 20 minutes straight, where she's like, Dad, Dad, I got it. Swipe the card, put three tokens in there, and she'd play. Dad, how many tickets I get? Uh, 50. Oh, swipe. She's playing again. Got 85 that time. Oh! <gasps> And every time we just go up and she gets so in fact, uh, so just engulfed into it to a point where we're like, okay, let's go play another game. We've only been at this, like, this is the entry to the store. Let's move on. Let's yeah. go to another side. Let's go visit the rest of this store. There's so much more. But her and my son would just get lost in it. And of course, my ass is like, we're here, let's do this. To the point where they went to Florida last week. You know, last week, and the first thing my daughter apparently asked for was, "Can we go to an arcade?" It's like I raised her right. Yes, <laughs> but of course she's now came back. She's like, "Dad, do we have an arcade here?" Not the type you're thinking about. Like we can go to Leap, which is a trampoline park here, and it yeah. has those type of games she's used to playing. And she's like, "Okay, let's go there. Cool, whatever." So we're gonna try to do that Friday night, but. She's so infatuated with that, and then she's getting to the point now where she wants to play these video games on the Switch. So I'm trying to go out and find somebody who has the old Nintendo controllers, you know, four button, six button, six buttons, mm -hmm. and just so where she can play them a little bit easier versus the tiny ass little controller of the Switch. But she's loving it, and every time she's getting it, and she's like, "Dad, can we play? Can I play with you? I will play any fucking game with my kids." Mm -hmm. I will not let them win, though. What? No. That's not Why my job. Uh, because my wife says you should let them win. No, you do not <laughs> let them win. They have to earn it. They will earn their win. It's not given. And when the, the wins do start to come, and you look at your kids, and you figure out which body part you can hit to where it doesn't show, <laughs> that's when you become the real parent, because that's when you're like, okay, I'm going to be tactical with this shit, because you just beat me at Rocket League, and I'm not, I'm not going to break this controller. I'm just going to break you. You beat me three games in a row on this fucking game. I, I don't hit my kids. <laughs> I didn't say I punched them. You just said the soft spot on them. That leaves no marks. grabbed pillows and <laughs> hit them. Way to elaborate. Yes. Pillow pack. I will condone that. <laughs> Well, you cover no, yourself on the podcast. <laughs> but it was like, I will fucking, I will fuck you up. No, I said, I fucking Rocket no. League. Fuck no. that game. My my daughters beat me on, on a Mario Kart map before because, uh, like, we were just doing 1v1. One, one one. So it's just her and I. And, of course, I had virtually lapped her. 
And that fucker was getting blue shells every time she picked up a goddamn mystery box. Oh, yeah. And she's just spamming with blue shells. I was like, God damn it. It got to the point where I literally stopped. I was like, will you fucking stop? Stop. If you don't stop hitting me with a goddamn fun. blue shell, I'm not going to play this game anymore. And I was like, are you really going to be that petty about this? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> this is stupid. Not enjoying myself anymore. Oh, it's not fun when you're not winning. No. No, I've been playing this for 30 years. <laughs> But does she talk shit to you? <laughs> so she tries, and because, like, how we raise them, we're like, I don't care if you swear, I don't care. Um, just don't. <laughs> Fuck you, don't, Dad! <laughs> yeah, don't say at somebody to be malicious. So there's been a few times where she's like, uh, she won a, we were playing Mario Tennis. And, of course, she can either hit a button or swing, and she beat me. And again, because your character kind of moves at their own pace, you have no control of how fast they move. So I'm just like, oh, kind yeah. of like, come on, Yoshi, get the fuck over to the left court. Come on! But whiff. Fucking kill you. This ever becomes real. <laughs> You're the first Iron Star, I will stop. And, but anyway, so she beat me, and she literally goes, oh, fuck yeah! I was like, huh? And she's oh, I'm not supposed to say. I was like, no, it's okay. I don't care. I was like, it's okay. It's fine. And she's like, okay. Well, you sucked. I beat you, Dad. Oh. And I was like... <laughs> All right. All right. Let's All right. try this again. So then literally the next the next round, I normally would be like, okay, I'm getting ready to serve, so get ready to return. And she's like, okay, okay. That time I was just like, up, serve. You didn't tell me. Pay attention to the game. Ace again. Ace again. Hey, Ace again. <laughs> quick, quick. Who sucks now? I was like, hey, what did we learn? No, no. That's not fun. Don't you shit like, talk to me? <laughs> it's like, it's like you, can, you can trash talk. Just understand. If you're going to trash talk, there's consequences when you say somebody sucks. That's not nice. Well, well I heard you tell mom that she sucks. When did you hear this? <laughs> when you guys were playing when you guys were playing Mario I think baseball or whatever it was, golf it was I was like oh because your mom was sucking she fucking couldn't hit the goddamn ball 100 meters yeah she sucked <laughs> oh, but you're not supposed to say that no no no, no. you're not supposed to say that I can say all I sorts of shit like I told my uh, my wife and I were uh, horsing around with each other like, mostly just you know, smacking each other on the butt or whatever but I said, ow, tonight, and my daughter and son's like, oh, what happened? It's like, your mom fucking hit me. She wouldn't do that. What? Yeah, she's so <laughs> mean. She says hateful things to me, too. <gasps> like, what? Keep in mind, my kids don't know the meaning of this word. But I was like, your mom has called, just called me a twat. And, and she was, oh, she, and like, so, so exaggerant. Just, oh, no, mom would not call you that. I go, yeah, she calls me all the time. And my wife goes, yeah, I have, but I didn't call him it today. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not very nice, Dad. She should look at you from across the room like, I will fucking kill you. I will <laughs> end you right now. Shut up. <laughs> but like, but the whole point of well, that's what is, I get. Yeah, yeah, I know. My, my wife and I, we actually care for each other and love each other. For ninety five percent of the day, um, <laughs> what's that like? It's nice. It's nice <laughs> for like three days out of the month. It's nice, but I can I can play games like if it's Thursday night with you, or if it's playing video games with my wife, or playing video games with my kids. I don't get burnt out. I can do that all day, every day. But there are certain people. Who I just I can't play certain games with because they take it a little little too intense, a little too far, a little too much, and that in itself will burn me out so quick, so much every time. It's annoying just, as hell. Yeah, where I'm just like, I'm so done. I've had to talk to a yeah. couple people where I was like, Look, I'm not playing with you anymore. Well, I bought this game because because you were playing it. I didn't tell yeah, you about right. a game. I will never tell somebody to buy a game. I will harass you, make fun of you, but 
if you say I can't afford it or I don't want it, then I'm like, okay, whatever. Just understand. I'm going to jokingly tell you you should buy this game. And that's mm-hmm. it. But I've had a couple people who were like, well, I bought this game because we were playing together. Cool. You're toxic. Like, you you ruined my experience. You make it where I don't want to play this game anymore. Or there's a couple games on Steam where, where I will go offline, but I'll still play. And I'll still stream. Yeah. I know they can see my stream, too. They're like, but it says you're offline. Yep, I know. Yeah. You can't Very join good me. good reason why. Yeah. And, and we talked about this in previous podcasts as well, of people that you play with, they're just, they just fucking want it to be accurate and realistic. And I'm talking more about Warzone because that's not what I play. I'm like, oh, yeah. this, this fucking rifle doesn't drop like that. The shot should be just... You can't shoot Back this shit 300 meters up. with that shotgun. It does not work. I'm like, oh, they're like, oh, this, you know, the, the AR blah, blah, blah should be doing like, no, 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 no. Back this fucking realistic train up because first off, you're running with a full fucking battle rattle and you think you're going to be a dead sprint across the fucking map. And, and you dive. also think you're going to be able and to pull your dive. parachute six or seven times before you hit the ground. Like, what what fucking point do you think this is realistic? Like, just shut the fuck up. Understand it. it's a video game. It's meant to be enjoyable and fun. And you want to sit over there and think this is closer to Tarkov. And, and, and I, even Tarkov is not yeah, as yeah. accurate, more accurate than Warzone DMZ. Yes, but shit. But that's the nature of the beast is it's designed to be that way. <gasps> Excuse me, I've, t- I've talked about it even before in those same podcasts or even past podcasts like realism. I love when games are very realistic. I love it. I just, it makes it what more enjoyable. Not to the extent of like, I'm shooting an M4 and I know the drop range on that or the power range of it or the fact that you can't shoot 300 meters accurately on a dead shot. I mean, if you point that I'm going to hit mm-hmm. that exact same spot 300 meters, let alone 100 meters away. I'm not that. I just... I want my guns to look real. I don't want you to tell me this is an M4 and then have it look like some pansy ass shotgun. It's like this makes no fucking sense. You can't just throw a label of a popular weapon together and say this weapon is XYZ. No, it's not. That's mm-hmm. a shotgun. An M4 is a rifle slash AR, not not shotgun. And there is a game that I'm specifically diming out for that, but I can't think of the name of it that calls their shotguns an M4 and it pissed me off. But I just want it, it. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. <laughs> whole fucking thing. <laughs> if I find the game, we'll do a whole episode about. It. But realism doesn't bother me. Like I love Battlefront, Battlefield. I love Battlefield because of the realism, where I have to be able to shoot, and be okay. My drop shot's gonna happen. I love that, but it also pisses me off. I mean, I get, I get the drop. I get, I understand that. I mean, even I mean, Warzone yeah. has it as well. You're not, you're not. It's not aim and shoot exactly. It has it, have drops in the yeah. too. It has a, I will say, Warzone or Call of Duty in general's drop shot is not natural by any means. So I no, definitely, I definitely pegged yeah. people 150, 200 meters away where the drop should have been a lot lower than it was. And I was like, eh, whatever. But yeah. Battlefield, or yeah, Battlefield. Battlefront Star Wars Battlefield will have a drop shot where, like, I'm shooting somebody 150 meters away. I need to aim, you know, 10 to 15 clicks above them, and it will kill them. Whereas Call of Duty, you just need to kind of aim slightly above them, and it'll get them. And, yeah. like, I get it. I love the realism, but it's to the point of if we're going to make it realism, you either go all in. Or you don't go all in at all. Like it's a all or nothing type situation. And the people who do play Call of Duty is like, well, it's not realistic. Like I get it, but you're also not gonna run around with the rucksack and your ruck gear on mm. with you no. know, carrying a fucking uh, LMG plus your sniper plus your pistol full of grenades, and you're gonna go fucking dolphin dive. Yeah, you ain't yeah. doing that. You, you like and you're the fact going that you, to kill you, yourself. Yeah, and the fact you now get a backpack. To go along with it of yeah. more shit that you carry around like no not gonna happen now i do that you and, can carry a power drill yeah and also i mean it, to look at the realism side of it if you want to get that i think and i always have thought sniper rifles one shot should drop you oh absolutely two shots to finish you no matter what one fucking sniper rifle shots 
50 cal round, whatever sniper rifle shot should fucking drop you. Hands down. I've should said that happen, before in no other podcasts. Yeah. And that's my only argument. And also a fucking rocket launcher. You should be dead. Well, that's if you get I, blown the fuck up, you're done. Yeah, I think rocket should, should drop be you. A one a one hit kill if it actually like hits you or within a certain range. Uh, sniper should be one and two, meaning one shot drops unless it's head. That's kill, like you're dead. Headshot should be a legitimate headshot. Uh, body shot, two shots, you're dead completely. And then shotguns are my other thing. Like close range shotguns, you should be dead if not dropped completely. Because there's been numerous times, especially in Call of Duty, where I have shot people. I was like, I'm literally unloading a whole fucking mag, a barrel of shotguns, shells, and you're still not mm-hmm. dead. Like that's not how this like that's where realism kind of pisses me off is like it's not you're literally six inches away from me and my shotgun mm. is going through you and I'm shooting you, my marker's going off, and you're just losing plates. Bullshit. Yeah. No, and I, and I get it, and I know for the sake of And the fact that what shotguns should not be able to snipe. Then yeah, no. But they're gonna find I mean guys are always gonna find ways around or find yeah. ways to do things in the game but those are like sniper rifle is one is one for sure that should be that and rocket launchers yeah that's always always my always been my argument but i know that there's always been the other thing of oh no this is that that's it no 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 i don't want to fucking hear ballistics and everything else like just simple very simple this is that that's that yeah that's it i mean i've i've not gonna argue with you on that one at all. No, there's, there's, there's guys I've just stopped playing with because that's all they want to do is complain. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm in that same boat. But there's also too, been, so. there's also, I don't know if I've stopped playing. There's definitely been games where I've stopped playing with certain people. But there's also been people who have like I played with so much where I won't play that game unless they're on, and then they've either stepped away. I'm like, well, I'm done with this game. Yeah. I'm done with this franchise. Mm-hmm. That's great. Uh, but there's also been times where somebody's kind of annoyed me so much to play a game. It doesn't matter what the game is, just play a game. And I'm just like, you know what, at this point, something mentally just snaps in me, and I'm like, I'm done. I don't want to hop in on my computer. Like, with me having a whole week to myself, you know how often I actually play games that whole week? You didn't stream that often. I streamed once that whole week. And I streamed for two hours. And literally, at the end of two hours, I said, okay, I'm done here. I'm burnt out. That I'm was, done. That was Diablo, right? Yeah. I was just like, I'm done. You, you had talked about doing a 24-hour stream. You're like, ah, that didn't happen at all. I had high hopes. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I get it. I I know I can I can see the thought process. Like, oh, I got all this time. I can do this. But then also, like we talked about at the very beginning, adult life is like oh i have so much other shit i could be doing instead of this it wasn't even that like like so so i i dropped him off at the airport 2 30 or sorry five o'clock in the morning on sunday dropped him off came home got home by about 7 30 no issues sunday i was more stressed out and had high anxiety the entire day because i was I was trying to figure out and wait to find out if my kids and my wife, who were traveling by themselves at the time, got to Florida with no issues. And, you know, the flight from KC to Atlanta got delayed in air because of a massive storm that was hitting Atlanta. So they just kind of mm-hmm. circle around. I didn't know that until they landed. And my wife texted me and said, hey, by the way, we're in um, Alabama right now. They uh, deferred us over here until the storm clears up so we're talking and i have high anxiety and stress about my kids traveling when i'm not with them because again me Mm -hmm. being the dad i can protect them uh my wife can't protect them too but i'm willing to go to jail and kill somebody over it my wife i would say she is but realistically i'm ready to snap mentally anytime Mm cross me it's fine so Sunday was all stress and anxiety. By the time they got to my mother in law's, it was like three or four o'clock. And then shit went down between stupid people 
and my wife, so I was stressed out still, but didn't play games, didn't go to sleep, stayed up, cleaned the entire house, went to bed finally like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, woke up at 8, because the sun hit me in the eye. Monday, mowed the whole yard, front, back, trimmed it, edged it, done. So it was supposed to take me all week in like little spurts. Mm -hmm. Cranked it all out in one day. So I was like, oh, I can, well, let's just get done. Tuesday, streamed and played, or streamed and did the podcast. And literally could not do, did not have the motivation to go do anything. Not DoorDash, not play video games, not design. Not, I, just, I sat in my recliner. I was like, I'm done. <sighs> Guy grocery games. Okay. Yes. Forge and Fire. Okay. <laughs> Well, there. Oh, I I haven't watched House in a year, so let's start the House saga again. I was just like, I watch TV and just relax and chilled out, talk to my wife via text message, and just I'm done. I could not get myself in the mood to do anything at all. Mm -hmm. Turned my computer on, sat down, loaded up BattleNet, which is Blizzard and Activision's launcher, loaded up Steam, loaded up Ubisoft, loaded up Epic Games Store, went to all my Play Stores. Got them all in check, got them all updated, and literally sat my screen and just had my hands over my face going, I don't know what to play. This all <laughs> looks stupid. Let's see if there's a new game coming out. Nope, 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 nope. Stupid, stupid. Fucking hate this. God damn it. It's like, okay, well, let me get up. I'll, I'll go watch TV. You're all, I'll hit up a couple friends, hang out with them for a little bit, came back home. It's like, I could not mentally check myself into play video games and it does not happen throughout the day where i'm just like or it doesn't does not not happen whatever where i will be like i want to stream i want a game moment of truth comes I'm like i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> it's like walk away <laughs> it's like even my kids i've noticed we're like you're not playing games you're not streaming it's quiet time Shh, go say quiet time go away I mean, so it happens. Time. You hit those points, and you're just like, I don't want to do it. I'm just not. I don't want it. Like, even if it's not I streaming, want to, like I just I can't I just, bring myself the game. I get it. I I know. I definitely get it. Um, I think uh, my biggest one is not having the people to play with. Because if you had, if you had that, the those right people, people, that crew, or whatever to play, it's different. Because it's just like, because. I've thought about it since I started streaming. Everybody that I've ever played with, I've never met in real life. Even today, you and I have never met in real life. I have met one person I stream with in real life. Jay. Like, like him and I actually met met in real life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I met him never. in his life, too. So, I mean. Yeah. I, but, it's just, it's, it's different. It, yeah, it's. It is different, but I mean, it's also like I'm gonna blame pandemic era because now that I'm thinking about it, like Jay and his wife or girlfriend Allie, the three of us would play Destiny two fucking every day. This is when the big push for Twitch affiliate started mm -hmm. um, back in like 2020. We're not started, but was ramping up, ramping down, however you want to phrase it. Uh, we were playing. Five to six hours every day. The three of us would hop on, make a fire team, go do dungeons, go do raids, go just roam around the galaxy and just kill and do quests and everything. We would do that every day. I had no issues whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then it happened. It just so happened that, you know, oh, well, now they have to go back to work. So now it's no longer you're out of office or... Um, they were they were remote work up until like I think a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, um, into 2021, and then all of a sudden, what was gaming every day with regularly set people went to gaming a few times a week with the regular people to now they're full time jobs plus one of them has to work out promotion so they're having to like do other training and shit and they're not active mm -hmm. anymore and they still have. Uh, guard duty to first of every month so it's just like man they never had time yep. that's just it. fucking adulting sucks life man it gets in the way and this that's the thing is that and that's why i found it funner 
to have nighttime uh -huh. to stream because that's typically when Nothing's people are off work. On. Nothing's going on. Kids are asleep or going to bed, one of those two. It's, it's a little bit easier to do all that then because people are winding down. But then also, you know, you're only going to have a couple hours before people have to say, okay, I, you know, I'm done. I have to work in the morning. And then, you know, that's, that's what, it, and, and I get it. It happens. I had to do the same thing. And when I first started doing it, I had to pull myself away. Like, fuck, it's one o'clock. Yeah. I have to be up in a few hours to go to work. And after a few, few months of doing that, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta figure out, like, I have to stop at this point. Like, I can't do this because I'm tired of shit at work doing this at night it's, it's not working but i was making you know i quote unquote friends or whatever to and i and i can't i my kids say that shit too and like oh my friends are online like, how many friends have you met none oh okay wow. so they're not your don't friends sound, don't sound like they're your online parents friends. at all yeah no <laughs> shit so it's like you know these people that i've that i hang out with online and play games with you know do a we podcast talk and with. whatever we do. For, it's just like, <laughs> what? What point do I say? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. But damn, it's weird because we've never even met, and it's a different time now. Yeah, I mean, but socially it's still acceptable there. Now. Yeah, and Thank you, it's Tinder. there. The com <laughs> the camaraderie is there to a certain extent when you find the right people, and it's finding those right people that makes the gaming a lot more fun and enjoyable yep. and when you're by yourself it sucks because that's how the games have gravitated to is you almost need yeah people to interact with and play with in these in these games because that's how it is now i mean and, we, and we've talked about it before and i think we're going to start seeing it a lot more because a lot of statistics have started coming forward of um they didn't call it burnout. There was a fancy jargon for it, but basically the amount of people who uh, purchase a game, play a game, and then play the game through its entirety, meaning the first mm -hmm. year, um, with all DLC, all content release, the average person does not complete the year's time. Within one year, the average person will play at most three to four months of a game before calling quits on it. Mm -hmm. And whether that's a burnout, whether that's uh, bad development, no DLC, no continuation of the game, whatever it is, they don't last more than a quarter of the year. And yeah. all these games that are being that were being watched and viewed and studied were all multiplayer based games where you were required to play with somebody else. However, the games that performed very well and had a a statistically higher number of retained players where the really, really few, far and few in between, single-player-only games. Where you could hop in, and you could literally just go nuts. You could play it by yourself. And a lot of those were still coming from Nintendo, where it was mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. A lot of people would still play Breath of the Wild to this day. People were buying Mario Kart. Yes, it was online, but you could still play Mario Kart at any point. Pick it up and go. And you had mario odyssey pick up and go still go through that first year get all these big games and even some indie games too that if it was single player the average player would play it through its first year with no issue and they would on average i think it was like 10 months on average so if there was only two months they could not equate for well multiplayer barely met a quarter of the year because it required too many external factors that the player could not control. So I think here in the very, very, very near future, honestly, before the end of this decade, which is like seven years away now, or five and six and a half years away, I think we're going to start seeing a big surge in single players, and we're already seeing it with uh, uh, who was Ubisoft just had their big game revealed, and they had a bunch of single player games coming out. You had Xbox, a bunch of single player games coming out. PlayStation, a bunch of single players coming out. So we're starting to see a big transition very quickly going away from uh, fo forced, not focus, forced multiplayer online to single player again. 
and we're starting to going to see a lot of people be able to go, I don't want to play with anybody. I want to just play my game and be done. So the big one for Microsoft, of course, is Fable. So Fable's finally coming back, coming out. And that was Great a huge game. game. That's an amazing fucking game. So you have Xbox and, and PC that'll be on. Yep. Well, and yeah, Xbox and PC. There was rumors of it possibly making its way to Nintendo. And I think that's more just of a middle finger. That'd be fucking Activision. Weird. Well, Activision buyouts is. Two months ago, it was done deal. And now it yeah. was Sony filed and something else. And now that's not going to happen again, whatever. So I think Sony just shot themselves a foot with it. We've talked about it before. Yeah. But I think Nintendo was talked for. I know Mortal Kombat is coming out on all consoles and system. Which again, more a rated M game being on Nintendo just kind of strikes me it's weird. Odd. Yeah, they have it. They have adult games in Nintendo. It's, it's like a rated R Disney movie. Deadpool. Yeah, it's it's, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I've, I've looked at some of them on the Nintendo Switch, going, "What the fuck is this? I didn't know this existed." Uh, but we're seeing that big push and I, by the end of this decade we will see a predominantly single player focused game with some multiplayer kind of like it was early 2000s some multiplayer predominantly single player because too many people are rather play a game by themselves and hell call of duty is a prime example so it's destiny 2 prime example of people just joining up in random lobbies fortnite as well and they're like i don't want to fucking play with this person kick them drop them whatever and then they just bitch and complain. Tons of content out there about people dropping out of lobbies because they weren't playing a certain way. They didn't like a certain thing. They're mouth breathers. I've seen that. No, you shouldn't lot. be able to play if you're a fucking mouth breather. If no, it's, I'm sorry. If you have a mic and I can hear your fucking game in the background on your TV, you shouldn't be able to play. If you have a headset and a mic and you're carrying on a conversation with the person next to you, you shouldn't be able to fucking play. If you're in a room with 19 other people screaming, kids are getting slapped, dogs are getting thrown across the room, no, you shouldn't be able to fucking play. It's, fu- it's fucking annoying. Like, all it's those things so have irritating. happened to like, I, It's not even made up either. Like, all that shit has happened. I've been a part of each one of those situations at some point or another. No, it's it's annoying as hell. It is. Annoying. It's very annoying. But again, yeah, the big reason why we're seeing the push in single players, and I think we're gonna, I think most of them come out next year. So we're gonna just see that big push of everyone going away, and toxicity in video games are at all time high. Mm-hmm. So I mean, League of Legends is the the worst and the most toxic community. Which is impressive that League of Legends beat out World of Warcraft and Call of Duty. Yeah. If you ever play World of Warcraft and you try to go do a fucking dungeon or raid with people, you don't know what the fuck you're doing? What, what's your palette? No, that's the wrong stat. You have the wrong build. Go fucking do this. Oh, God. You don't it's, have I mean, gold. That's a, that's a whole other okay. world. Yeah, hence the name. World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's, a, that's like... But League of Legends no. is worse because it's like... I don't play it anymore. I tried it. I couldn't get into it. I know people who are avid, avid League of mm-hmm. Legends. And they've tried to bring me in numerous times. Like, yeah, I'll teach you how to run top, run mid, run bottom. I'll teach you how to be a healer, attacker, DPS. I'm like, what the fuck? Hold on. That way of a way, way that's way too much. Well, it's easy to understand. No, no. It sounds like it's easy to understand. Like, I love Overwatch. Yeah. And Overwatch still has a top, mid, and bottom pass that you can run mm-hmm. but I will play one character and one character only and I will master that one character and the moment's like we need a healer like, oh, you're fucking screwed I ain't a healer I'm a DPSer yeah. we need a tank uh, DPSer we'll just switch we have four DPSers you fucking switch I have mastered this one character I am yeah. not playing anybody else somebody takes my character I will drop I'll be like nope Nope, this is no longer fun for me. Fuck you, fuck this, all of it. I hate it. No, Hope it, it makes sense. 
I hope you all burn. Bye, bitch. <laughs> but it's just no, I get it. it. It's it's all different. I still I still think it like we said before in this episode. Just I don't think it's age that's making us burn out. I think it's the fact that everything is so fucking similar. It's all the same. It could be. I mean, that is that is. I one. refuse to make I mean, it. I refuse to take the age into consideration. No, because I still I still enjoy video games. Like like I said, we just bought the Atari. Like. I can still I can pull out the Nintendo right now and, and play it just fine. You know, and I could pull anything else. I mean, I could definitely hop on the PlayStation and play. It's just I think it's more of like I know I have other shit I have to do is why I cannot devote all my time to this. Cause in the back of my head I know I have other shit I have to do. But like I get mean, all the other it, shit done end of the day you still know you have like your quiet time you know you only have two to three hours to do it and then there at school you know you have this amount of time but your son's still home, two, son's at home too still two, so three i mean hours. <laughs> but then once you get to that point of like both your kids are at school and you're at home go back to full time you're gonna have i already have that same place yeah you're you're gonna have your time to do it but you're gonna have a schedule because you know you have this amount of time to do it, but you have other stuff you have to do at some point to get to get done and whatnot too. So it's just like again, adulting, managing time and shit like that. Which is if fucking it wasn't, annoying. I, but I blame yes, the military but, for that, where it's like you are very for the most part, you are very structurally sound with timing. Where you're like, like okay. I need to get A done, I need to get B done, I need to get C done, I need to get D done. Okay, I got A. How much time do I have left? Okay, I can do B and D. Can't get C done. Oh, shit, I'll put C off till tomorrow. Okay, well, now I have C. Yeah, damn. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's a whole thing because, like, there are definitely days where if I can, if I can let my ADHD win, mm-hmm. there are definitely days where I'm just like, I can play games. I'm very good, very content, very happy. Mm-hmm. I got it figured out. Until the adult side of my brain kicks in and goes, eh, 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 no, silly rabbits, you can't do that. Let's, yeah. let's go be an adult. You have to go mow the yard. It can't wait yeah. till tomorrow. We live in Kansas. We may get snow tomorrow. Let's go. Yeah. You know, I know it's middle of June. Like, we may get snow tomorrow. And that's like, I know, I know this weekend, like, I've got, I do have to mow. I have some other things I have to do, but I want to play golf this weekend as well. So I have to figure out if I can do it because golf is going to take at least four to five hours just to, you know, enjoy it and do it how we normally do it. So I have I to make sure everything is done Yeah, for, for an 18. It's a four to five hour to do. So I was like, if I do yes, this, golf do that, we go for like six. That's six well, I mean, it can definitely, <laughs> it can definitely stretch out that far, but I like, I put it at like five max. Normally it's, it's done. If it's two or three of us playing, now if we get more than that, like no, it's like you're, it's fucking Wait, the entire day shot. We don't go more than five. Because I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna, I'll come on hammered. If there's, if there's more than three or four of us, like two to three, it's okay. We can get done in about four or five hours. But I mean, still, that's you know, that's half of a day because you know you're waking up and going, and you're not getting back until after, you know, one or two o'clock more than likely. And then at that point, oh shit. What the fuck am I going to do after that? Because I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I've been out in the sun all day, swinging a club and drinking. Like I don't want to fucking do anything else. Hold a yeah. shot. Well, it depends. Are you still going to cook dinner? Is there a leftover dinner? Do you have to go grill? Do you need to go smoke? Do you need to go do this? Do you need to go mow the yep. lawn? Did you get all that done before mow? Del- yeah, that's, just... what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I get all it done before. It's a trickle fest. Mm-hmm. I want to get that done before, so I can do that. But if I don't get that done, I can't go do that. You know and. What I would want to do is you know, go golf, come home, play. But shit, if I don't get everything done, that's not happening. It's yeah. just adult adulting gets in the way of doing things. No, 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 no. Being a responsible, mature adult gets in the way of doing things. It's still adulting. No, no, no. Go to your local campus. <laughs> Jesus. I guarantee you those fuckers... Well, not right now. School's out. Go in August, September time frame. I guarantee you, those local mm-hmm. fuckers are not doing jack shit. <laughs> I can go on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night and know where to find all of the college kids. 
They're all down in Aggieville, getting drunk, getting hammered, beyond their beliefs, and then bitching about how they can't go to work on Monday or Saturday or Sunday because they're hungover from the night before. They have tests that they totally forgot about over the weekends. Yeah. No, I, I, I get Responsible, it. Responsible, mature adults. Yeah. No, I, I get it. It's it's one of those things. But it's just, fuck, it's never ending. Nothing ever ends. I don't know. It doesn't. It's life. As my daughter has let me know this last week, everyone dies. <laughs> it's true. So, it happens. But, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's It's been very hard. I've had people... Especially my like my Discord community is like, hey, it's like you want to go play Call of Duty? It's like, no. Well, you said you're playing all the time. No, I play on Thursdays. You're welcome to join me on Thursdays. Well, when do you guys play? 8.30 p.m.? Well, what's at my time? I don't fucking know. Figure it out for yourself. So do the conversion. I'm not trying mm-hmm. to be rude. Well, I want to play Diablo. I don't want to play Diablo. Or if I'm in the middle, I'm like, um, I think it was Tuesday last week, actually, when I was streaming. Even um, somebody hit me up that's in our clan. It's like, hey, say so you want to run dungeons right now? I was like, no. Well, do you need help? No, I can do this by myself. Like, I chose my character because I can solo the whole fucking game without support of anybody. Mm-hmm. Which is like, like how to play my games, not having to rely on anybody. Okay, well, if you need help, nope, I don't. Thanks so. though. Okay, but I'm here. No, I'm not good. <laughs> nope. Same happens with Destiny Two. I'll hop on, and somebody will chat up, or worse, Destiny Two. If you don't fix your settings, people can just randomly join you from your guild. I've had people join me, and then like I'm in my loading screen where it's just an outer space, and you see my ship just kind of floating there, and all of a sudden I see two ships pop up, and like, what the fuck just happened here? I had to go to my yeah. pirate team chat. Hey, who's in my team? Oh, well, I saw you were online. Yeah, no. No. I, I'm not playing with other people. I'm doing story mode, or I'm just sticking around by myself. Oh, well, yeah. we, we, we wanted to go do pinnacle stuff. I don't want to do pinnacle. Well, we can carry you through. No, no. I didn't say You're I need help. I said I don't want to do this yeah i'm very literal if i need your help i'll ask you otherwise i'm like a child in the 20s 1920s i'm to be seen and not heard just leave me alone yeah i'm good but it, it's happened so many times especially this last like two months because i've been burnt out just mm. on video games as a whole so no, i get it do you because you're never present on thursdays that's well i'm trying <laughs> that's it <laughs> what that's just a timer to let you know <laughs> that's it <laughs> but, thanks no, for listening no we we <laughs> will be live this Thursday maybe this weekend if I can get away which I should be able to my, my wife totally mm-hmm. understands that I just need time away so we will be live on Thursday on our respective channels Rago will be on Twitch forward slash or twitch.tv forward slash Roggle. Unless he decides to fucking leave Twitch after all their bullshit. He won't. Yeah. He's a creature of habit. But the army. That's right now, yes. Um, and find me over on Cybermark Sick everywhere. So Oh, and if you want to see random bullshit content, TikTok. <laughs> I've made a bunch. <laughs> Stupid shit. I don't even know why I made it over there anymore. So you can check us other than that. Next week, or actually, when this debuts, Money in the Bank shit already passed. So go back and listen to the WWE Money in the Bank pay per view. Yep, 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 yep. That's stuff coming out. And ah, that's all I got for you people because I'm tired. So here's Roggle. Have fun. <laughs> I got nothing. Bye, bitch.